What is up, guys? It's time for Dylan back at it again with another crypto video. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. If you're new here, subscribe, bell icon, get notified when I post new videos because it's all time sensitive. In today's video, what we have to talk about is two things. Number one, we have to talk about what is going on with FTX. Finance, are they going to be acquiring FTX? Are they going to be saving the cryptocurrency market? I don't know, guys. You have to stay tuned until I talk about it. And then, of course, we have to talk about Solana. Why am I selling all of my Solana? Or a significant loss you guys have to stay tuned so you hear why i'm gonna do that because to be honest at this point there's really no other option than to dump get out before everyone else does not financial advice that's just what i'm gonna be doing the first thing we have to talk about of course is the cryptocurrency market because things look terrible as you can see global crypto market cap is down 12 percent just in the last 24 hours we've lost over 200 billion dollars in the global crypto market cap it's absolutely insane why is everything dipping you guys already know why it's because ftx screwed things up massively as you can see bitcoin back under sixteen thousand dollars and everyone knows 17.6 was a key level of support if it breaks below 17.6 we're going to the downside somewhere around twelve thousand to ten thousand so although this sucks no one likes to see prices drop i'm super excited because that means Bitcoin is much cheaper than it was. And at the end of the day, I'm a long-term holder, long-term believer. There's only 21 million Bitcoin in existence and four or so million is out of circulation, never to be touched again. So overall, I'm super excited about Bitcoin. Can't wait to scoop some up. Hopefully we see a sub 10K Bitcoin. That way I can scoop up as many as I possibly can, but not financial advice. You guys do your own research. Anyway, scrolling on down, we can see Ethereum down 16% on the day. Sucks to see. You know, as you guys know, Bitcoin dumps, what's going to happen? Market's going to follow. You hate to see it, but what do you expect? Ethereum, I'm expecting it to drop below $800. That was its old low in the bottom of the bear market or what people thought was the bottom. Get ready. We're going to see a true bottom now. And of course, going down, even Cardano. You know, I love Cardano. Love my ADA. Cardano down 16% on the day. Looks like we're going back below 30 cents, guys. Sucks to see. Hate to see it. But what can you do? Gives us an opportunity to scoop up things at a lower price. Even Dogecoin getting murdered. What happened with the Dogecoin maxis? Come on, guys. What's going on? And, you know, got to talk about Solana. Because as you guys know, there's a lot of people on Twitter that hate ADA. And what do they hold? They hold Solana. There's been this feud on the internet between Solana and Cardano. Looks like that feud has now been put to rest. Because we know which cryptocurrency is here to stay. Which one is VC trash. Even Google can't save it. And that, of course, is Solana. That's why I'm going to be dumping all my Solana, my entire bag. And the reason why is something I'm going to show you a little bit later. Something has come to light that I think can't be ignored. And that's the true reason why I'm going to be dumping all my Solana. So make sure you guys stay tuned so you hear what I have to say about that. Then, of course, FTT, it's not even here. If you guys have FTT, try and dump it if you even can. You know, at this point, I'm just praying that you guys don't have any money on FTX because you're probably never going to see that money again. But anyway, moving on along, first topic of today's video have to talk about it finance acquiring ftx what's going on with that i have to show you guys this video that i posted yesterday talking about this whole situation ftx insolvent what's going on cz dumping all of their ftt tokens because of a recent revelation that came to light what happened i'll make sure to throw the link to that video down in the description if you guys are interested in watching it but basically long story short tldr what happened is a report came out showing that a lot of the funds on ftx books were fake they're propped up by FTT token, which is heavily manipulated. How do we know this? Well, all FTX has to do is just buy their own token. Price goes up. What happens? They're then able to say, look at the money on your books, investors. Will you invest in our company? At which point the investors will invest. So it's a big Ponzi scheme. Doesn't look good. Binance saw right through it. They decided we're going to be selling our FTT tokens. What happened? This opened the floodgates and it started a bank run on FTX. No bueno. So all of that transpired, and then yesterday we saw Sam Bankman-Fried come out and say he had a few announcements to make. Blah, blah, blah. Well, basically, Sam Bankman-Fried came out and said that Binance, with a non-binding agreement, said that they were going to be acquiring the company. So what happened since yesterday? What happened? Binance came out, guys. That's a result of our corporate due diligence, as well as the latest news reports regarding mishandling customer funds and alleged U.S. agency investigations. We have decided that we will not pursue the potential acquisition of FTX. They're done. Put a fork in them. It's over, guys. Game over. So this right here, this is what's causing the markets to crash. People are panicking. 
the weak hands, the paper hands, they're jumping on the market. What do you expect? That's what happens. We have a major player in the space going under. Not the first time. We had Celsius earlier this year. We also had BlockFi and Voyager all go under. This is the fourth time this is happening. And you know, I think back to Kevin O'Leary talking about, we have not seen Max Payne. But what I'm thinking, I truly think, this will be the moment that causes the Max Payne to set in. And I think this is what will cause the true bottom to be set. So I personally think this is what the market needed. It needed a little bit more pain. So it's still too early to say for sure. But I think this is overall a good thing. I really do. Because FTX, Sam Bigman Freed, did not have the bench best interest for the cryptocurrency market at heart. He's over here lobbying, donating $50 million to the Democratic Party. The party that does not want you to have the ability of sovereign wealth. The party that does not want decentralization or peer-to-peer -peer transactions to go through. And who's headed that entire operation? Sam Bankman Freed. So I'm very happy that this is happening. It sucks to see. If you have money on the exchange and you can't get it off, I'm really sorry that that happened to you. I'm not happy for that. But I'm happy that this major player, this guy that does not have the best interest for all of us, for crypto, happy that he's dethroned. Then I quickly want to show you this tweet from CZ. Two big lessons. Never use a token you created as collateral. That's exactly what FTX did. They falsified their earnings reports. They falsely stated that they had more money than they had by manipulating their token price that was on their balance books. That's what caused this downfall. That's what also caused the downfall of what? Celsius. They did the exact same thing. So am I surprised to see this? Not really. Does it suck to see? Absolutely. But overall, I think this will be a net positive for crypto. Now, last thing on this topic, I just quickly wanted to show you this. FTX CEO Sam bankman fried has filed for bankruptcy and personally owes lenders over $650 million. Now, I will say this, guys. I will say this. This does not affect FTX US. However, FTX US is currently worth about $1.1 billion. So there might be some shenanigans with Sam bankman fried and FTX US. Who knows? Maybe he's going to pull money out just like a Terra Luna founder did. I can't remember the guy's name. Joe Kwan. Just like he did. Stole $2 million from the, from the exchange. Sam Bickman Freed. Who knows? He's capable of doing anything at, at this point. He's got nothing left to lose. So watch out, guys. And then lastly, quickly wanted to tell you the reason why I'm selling all of my Solana at a significant loss is because of this, guys. Nearly $1 billion of Solana is set to be unstaked in the next 24 hours. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to get dumped on the market. So get ready to get wrecked. Worse than we've already been wrecked. It absolutely sucks to see. What do you expect? I guess, I guess the answer is Cardano NFTs, baby. Cardano is the chain. It's the one in the game that is still here to remain has never shut down, is not backed by VC owners, did not have to do a public funding round, none of that. Truly decentralized, it's truly the answer. That's why I love Cardano. Cardano's here to stay. That's why all the money that's gonna be coming from Solana, my bag that I'm gonna be dumping, is going right into Cardano, guys. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys made it this far, you guys are awesome. Make sure you guys smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Try to post daily CNFT videos, crypto videos for you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, follow along. But you guys have a beautiful day, beautiful night, wherever you guys are. Dylan is out.